Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session on ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to analyze a mechanical wrench for static structure analysis. We will start by double clicking on static structural. We will go to engineering data. Engineering data sources. I'll choose the material as stainless steel for the wrench. General materials. I've chosen stainless steel. I'll go back to projects, update project. Next, I'll go to geometry, right click. Import geometry. Next, I'll go to model and double click on it. I'll go to geometry now. I'll select the part and assign the material as stainless steel. Next, I'll go to mesh. I'll change the sizing to fine and update. Once the meshing is done, I'll go to static structural and first I'll insert fixed support. So on one end I'll insert fixed and on the other side now I have to apply some force. So see on this face I will insert force. I'll change vector to component. The alignment of the body is along the y axis. So I'll apply a force of say 50 newton. Next, I'll go to solution and I will insert deformation total. Also, I'll insert deformation directional along the y-axis. Next, I'll insert strain equivalent. Also, I'll insert stress equivalent. I'll insert fatigue tool. Apart from this, I will insert the stress tool. So I'll go to solution now and solve. I click on first total deformation. The value is 0.061823 mm. This is the maximum deformation over the body. You can animate and check the result. Next, I'll go to directional deformation along the y-axis. Here the value is showing the same as that of total deformation 0.0616 mm. Next is the equivalent elastic strain over the body. The maximum value is 4.35 into 10 to minus 5 which is very less. The equivalent stress generated over the body is 8.39 megapascal. You can animate and check the result. And this is the safety factor, that is 15. It is actually very high, which means your body is quite safe. Now suppose if you want to see the life of this object, then you cannot use this material of stainless steel. You will have to use the material of structural steel. So I just change this part 1 to say structural steel. And here I will insert 
for the tool. Say the mean stress theory is Goodman theory. I will right click and insert life. I'll go to solution and solve again. So now you can see the total deformation using structural steel is 0 0.0596 mm. Directional deformation along y axis, the value is exactly the same. This is the strain generated over the body 4.2 in direct to minus 5. The stress is 8.399 megapascal. Again, it is same as that of stainless steel. This is the safety factor and most important is the life which can now be seen using the material of structural steel. So you can see the value of life is 1 to 10 raised to 6. So it can work for so many cycles. You can insert one more term which is called as damage. And if you solve, you will see that it is designed for 1 into 10 raised to 9 cycles. But it actually works for only 1 into 10 raised to 6 cycles. That's because obviously there will be some amount of loss over the usage of the body. So the body may not work exactly as that of the designed life. It will work for a few cycles lesser. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze a mechanical wrench for its deformation, stress, strain, factor of safety and life. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.